Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about keyboard shortcuts in Sony Vegas. I'm going to be discussing common keyboard shortcuts associated with Vegas and other programs and uh, things like that. And I'm also going to show you how to customize keyboard shortcuts in Vegas. So, uh, I got a lot to cover so I'm going to get this thing started. So, in my timeline I have one clip and this will be our example. Now, let's go over a few things. Uh, I'm just going to start with really common keyboard shortcuts that are uh, used in like everyday things on your computer. If I select my clip simply by clicking it is now selected. If I hit control C, C as in catastrophe, uh, control C, that will copy my clip. Now if I go over here and just hit control V, this pops up. I can either create a new copy or create a reference to the original media. I'm going to hit create a new copy and hit OK. And it pastes it. So I have my copy, they're both completely identical. Control C copies, Control V paste. Everybody should know that. And uh, Control X will cut it. Now, I'm not going to cut because if you do it in Vegas, Control X, this thing pops up and I get to draw on my screen, which is really fun. Uh, but I don't want to do that. So, Control X normally cuts, but uh, not in Vegas. But, anyways, so Control C copies, Control V paste, and Control X cuts. Now, let's say I'm all happy here and then I accidentally delete my clip and I'm so sad and I'm freaking out well if I just hit control Z and it will undo it whatever I just did control Z will undo it and then control Y will redo it so let's see I got my clip here uh, I accidentally delete it control Z will undo it and then if I decide oh well I don't really want that clip anyways just hit control Y and it redo so control Z let's just delete this Control Z undoes my last action, and Control Y redoes my last action. So, again, very simple stuff, but uh, commonly used in all programs and stuff. I'm just gonna pop up some other crap here. All right, now I'm gonna talk about something for selecting stuff. Now, to select something, you just click it or highlight it, depending on what kind of document or project you're working on. So, I just clicked on this clip, it is now selected. Now, let's say I want to also select this thing over here. And I'm just going to say, well, I'm not really liking you, this thing in the middle, so I'm going to ignore you. But I want Mr. Cloud and Mr. Black Turbulence. Uh, but I don't want you, Gravel. So I'm just going to hold Control on my keyboard and then click on the Black Turbulence. So I'm going to click it, and that's after this one's selected. So right now, none of them are selected. They're all excluded. I'm going to hold Control click on the gravel and then this time I'm gonna exclude Mr. Black Turbulence and bring in Mr. Cloud. Alright so they're both selected this one is not selected. Now if I uh, hold shift on my keyboard and then click on Mr. Cloud and then ignore Mr. Gravel but click on Mr. Black Turbulence it selects all of them. Even though I didn't click on gravel I still selected all of them. This brings me to my next keyboard shortcut Control A will select everything regardless of what you want or what you don't want. So, all those different keyboard shortcuts come in handy depending on your situation. So, uh, those are the common ones. I think I went over every one. Uh, there's a bunch of others too, like control, then using your scroll wheel will uh, uh, make things bigger like in Firefox and stuff. Uh, control plus and minus keys also do pretty much the same thing. Uh, but basically I just went over the really common ones, like the really, really common ones. Now let's uh, create some of our own keyboard shortcuts. Now, let's say I really like to edit text and I edit text all the time. How do you add text to your timeline? You're probably thinking, well, go to Meteor Generators, text, drag default text into your timeline. Well, it's actually a lot easier than that. You just right click on your timeline, hit insert text media. It's the same thing. Now, if you're l too lazy to even do that, and that takes too much effort that you end up uh, having to take a breather after you do that because it's like so difficult and tedious well you can actually edit it sir, or modify it or whatever so that's even easier than just right clicking and then clicking uh... so if we go up here to options customize keyboard this pops up and up here it shows a little uh, search bar thing let's search for all commands that have to do with text t-e-x-t hit uh, here's our results so text insert text media Right now, there are no keyboard shortcuts here. So what I'm going to do is hit global, 
there's all these options here just hit global there will be all these other ones you're gonna make sure that you're always hitting on global all right that's very important so hit global we're gonna go over here to shortcut keys click here hold control and then hit T or you can use whatever keyboard shortcuts you want so um, something that's really easy to remember for inserting text would be control T so uh, if I hit control T um, it shows my shortcuts that already have control T in it this one edit dot trim the keyboard shortcut for edit trim would be control T so we can't use the control T on text media because it is already being occupied by edit trim so let's back up this text over here and hit edit dot trim and uh, I spelled this wrong edit dot trim here's edit dot trim and the keyboard shortcut is control T if I click this and then hit remove it removes it from the list now if I go back here and type text and bring up insert text media I can now put control T and then uh, it shows that there are no uh, actions occupying control T so uh, I am free to use control T on my insert text media again make sure you're under global now if we hit add then hit OK I can just go over here hit control T and it pops up my text media it's that easy and you can do that with literally every single action in Sony Vegas so it's actually quite easy it's just very time consuming but in the long run it actually helps out a bit speeds up your editing process gives you more options and it makes you more comfortable with Vegas so hope you like this little video uh, maybe it'll help you out it helps me out all the time I'm constantly refreshing my keyboard shortcuts just so that I'm always familiar with Vegas and stuff but anyways thanks for watching the tutorial uh, for more tutorials like this, check out my channel. I have, like, uh, what is it, 17 other Sony Vegas tutorials, and that's just at the moment. I upload more constantly. But anyways, thanks for watching, have fun, and have a good night.